friends in this video we are going to see the introduction to AWS so AWS is the fastest growing cloud platform in the universe and it is the largest infrastructure as a service platform and it is the largest public cloud platform. as I told that public doesn't means it is accessible to all the people whoever registered with that particular cloud platform vendor so many of the organizations are migrating these their products to AWS like uh, you had seen that if you see for example i would like to tell paytm is also migrated their uh, website to aws if you click on any order details you will see a bill which is there in s3 bucket so uh, next point like uh, uh, most of the certifications for it or software are very popular in aws so we have various certifications like uh, developer associate uh, uh, architect cloud uh, sysops devops uh, many more are there which we are going to have a detailed discussion about that and aws is the most cost efficient they are uh, charged per as uh, pay as you go model which is like if you used a ac2 instance for one hour you will pay only for one hour if you use for a uh, five minutes they will charge you for five minutes so there are various benefits for it so aws is very high available which means that they had about a 16 regions uh, which uh, the content of your data will reach more in most efficient way uh, fault tolerance is very very low uh, as compared to uh, any other service i would like to explain this with an example if you see the s3 bucket uh, the availability of that s3 bucket is 99.99s uh, there uh, in total which is like 11 nines if you see uh, the fault tolerance there it is around 0 0.00001 so which is very very less that uh, you can get an assurance from amazon it is available at every time so if you want more available if you want to see your application more available we have a lot of services to make that content to be delivered as soon as possible example cloud formation so it is very scalable which means that whenever you need a resource uh, immediately you can get it from amazon so you can scale a lot of ec2 instance or storage whatever you want you can scale uh, as as we are expecting next one is elasticity so when you don't want some resource you can immediately shut down those resource uh, that type of facility is there in amazon so it is very cost cost efficient which is which we can compare with uh, any any other cloud service provider so it is very secure uh, aws is responsible for their infrastructure as a end user or a customer you are responsible for your data so there is lot of documentation in aws so if you want a particular uh, uh, resource related to ec2 they have a lot of documentation related to it for example if you need how to launch an ec2 instance documentation you will get it from aws so like that for every resource for every uh, source uh, or uh, services we have a lot of documentation in aws and this is the most advantage with aws so these are the various service that amazon is providing so we have compute under this compute we have a lot like lambda ec2 uh, uh, elastic beanstack all these comes under uh, compute storage we have s3 glacier all these things comes under storage database we have dynamo db rtbs all these comes under a database like that we have a lot of services which we are going to see in detail the next one is like uh, uh, as I told that there are uh, 16 regions around the uh, world so we can see that them in uh, uh, orange circles they are called as a regions regions uh, are and availability zones and uh, edge locations we will have a detailed lecture on that so let, let us stick to this uh, there are around uh, 16 regions and uh, for every region there are uh, having two or more availability zones but uh, edge locations are independent to these uh, uh, regions or availability zones so edge locations are basically for a content delivery to a customer as soon as possible uh, that we can detail we will have a detailed discussion <music>